Hello everyone and now welcome. Welcome to a game between Sonic versus Death Note. Um Odinsgar. Oh, 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 I don't I don't even think I can pronounce um all of the all of these names properly. So let me just go ahead and say um Death Note versus Sonic taking place here. Odin's dagger. Ah, okay, that you know, you know, having that E and like proper spelling could could help. Or or is that Odin's dagger in in a different language. Hmm. Anyways, we're looking at a 1v1 matchup here. This is going to be Human versus Night Elf here on Amazonia. Only... I think he just has issues with spelling. Ready to work. Uh, he is native Russian. All right. Now, see, I, I think that's also one of the reasons why I'm so many people... Like, when, when people say reading English is difficult, um, what's... Sometimes what's funny is wh why it's difficult to read in read English Job is because done. you're using like the, the English alphabet to spell like different language words, right? So Job so it's just like yeah, no wonder it's difficult. You're not like you're not even following the Job rules done. of English when you're using the English alphabet, and and people are like, hey, how come you can't read that? Well, it's I. I, I I don't know. Ready to work. Try reading Japanese. I saw this ne. Oh. Job done. What? Ready what? For yeah, no. Reading Chinese. My my children know how to read more Chinese than I do. So, uh, yeah. 我的我的国语真的不好。我的我的国语弄完后要滴。all right, anyways, Archmage, not Archmage, Renegade Wizard casting Lightning Shield down here on that Archer. Lightning Shield going to be pushing back some damage here. Meanwhile, it is going to be an Archmage versus a Keeper of the Grove in this 1v1 um, one v one battle. Archmage not getting up a Lightning Shield. Perhaps going to try and run off to the other side, or at least not damage his own units here. As we're looking at the, well, Keeper of the Grove, or... Where Archmage picking up a Claws of Attack plus 5 eventually. Meanwhile, Keeper of the Grove picking up a Ring of Protection plus 3. Um, early on, I'd rather have Claws of Attack plus 5 over Rings of Protection plus 3 any day of the week. Um, mainly because if your Archmage or if your hero is already taking damage, um, that's in a situation, in a scenario that you really don't want it to be in. You want your hero to be attacking. You don't want your hero to be taking damage. And if your hero is in fact taking ready, taking ready, damage, well, you may be forced to retreat back. And all right, trying to get back into the swing of things in this particular game here. Militia now being called over. Um, well, Death Note going to be trying to do a perhaps a fast expand, purposely pulling over the Rock Golem, chopping down a second Water Elemental, as two Water Elementals going to be absorbing a bit of damage here by aggroing these Golems away. Um, the Golems don't actually use that Rock Toss or that Boulder Toss anymore, as stopping a lot of the stun and stopping the damage of it. Potion of Invulnerability going to be picked up. And we're already looking at a level 3 Archmage here. Militia, they're going to be able to set up an expansion now quickly. Keeper of the Grove, however, with Gloves of Haste, which add Mantle of Intelligence, a little bit of extra damage, faster attack speed, and eventually for that Orb of Venom may become very, very effective as well. Tech to Tier 2 has already begun by Sonic very far out ahead here. Very fast, uh, very fast tech to uh, tier two. Meanwhile, we will not be looking at tier two for quite some time by Death Note, and well, that may end up becoming a bit of an issue as we should be looking at some well riflemen or mortar teams eventually. But Sonic may be able to put in enough pressure early on. All right, mass number of archers currently hiding. Archmage right there. Well, has a Cloak of Shadows. Are we going to perhaps be getting in some repairs? Footman trying to finish off more here. Is this one one building going to get finished off? More repairs coming back in. We need to see some repairs off to the side here. The Water Elemental should have really been attacking this moon wall instead of this one as it had, well, different armors while it's being constructed. Meanwhile, back down to the south here. Trents are joining in on the battle. Scout Tower is, well... Town Hall is now done. Militia now being called over. Scout Tower not upgrading to an Arcane Sentry as the Archers are now trying to retreat all the way back. All right, more and more Moonwells are going to get taken down. We are looking at a Staff of Teleportation, only a Staff of Teleportation, 
as the as the footmen are continuing to finish off more units. Sonic only has nine workers left. He will need to train up quite a bit more, but he is still upgrading the tier two. So this timing attack, much more similar to that against an undead who, when they're taking the tier two, as Sonic now being forced to upgrade and get a goblin shredder, a volley of archers or a volley of arrows from the archers now causing problems. Are we going to look into a shadow meld right there? Footmen without the fend at this point. There's a quick reveal. A couple of archers could get taken down pretty easily. There goes another archer as well as they're unable to run to the baths of the Moonwell. Units now trying to retreat back. One Goblin Shredder well quickly picked up a very smart call. Sonic realizing, you know what? I'm I'm just low on lumber. I can just train up a Goblin Shredder from that um, Goblin Laboratory to try and get that lumber back going. Keeper of the Grove sitting at level 3. Plenty of archers, footmen without defend. Now getting up to Fen finally seems a little bit too little, too late, as the Fen could have changed that battle easily. All right, coming back around, Archer's trying to well pull back again. Meanwhile, a couple of more trends. <laughs> Check it out, guys. You two could get claws with an easy Prime sub. Um, yes, yes, you can. I don't know. If you guys have any other ideas for other emotes that you want, let me know. Um... Done. Anyways, Keeper of the Grove, gonna go ahead and staff of teleportation back. Thank you for the subscription. Squ Squirrel of Town Portal heading back off to the north here. We're looking at archers and, well, archers purposely shadow melting again. Goblin Shredder constantly being repaired, and this is a constant back and forth harassment game that I wasn't really expecting. On top of this, now the footmen do have defend, and they are able to reflect back a quite a bit of damage. Goblin Shredder could end up getting taken down here, and it does finally end ending up getting taken out. Um, Archmage is still off over here. Another footman going to get taken out. And what is going on? This is just a battle of dead workers. Death Note up to 19 workers, and it feels like he could still get a little bit more. Archmage is at level 3, almost level 4 from all of this constant battling in the early portion of the game as the Archmage is now at level 4 with level 2 Brilliance Aura. Back down here, Pocket Factory is going to be putting in a bit of pressure. Tech to Tier 2 has not yet begun. And at this stage, it almost makes sense to try and upgrade this Town Hall to Tier 2 so you have another place to, well, uh, um, call to arms. More militia being called back o over. And, well, Archmage getting here. Footman going to go ahead and throw up a couple of defense. Again, Trents and Clockwork Goblins causing problems. It looks as this, the Scout Tower could get taken down as the Goblin Tinker tries to rush on in and perhaps tr well, stop this expansion from really being able to pay for itself. Keeper of the Grove, however, still seeing that level 3 Archmage having mana for days. Level 2 Brilliant Sora, just passive right there. Footman with defend, finally reflecting some of that damage back as we're looking at, well, more Trents being summoned in onto the battlefield. All right, level 2 Trents, 3 Trents constantly being thrown in. Peasants trying to retreat back. Level 2 Water Elemental trying to, well, finish off the, the Pocket Factory and more of those Trents again as the Archmage is well, getting at a four and a third now already and still um, getting in more and more experience. All right. Is that going to continue to add up again and again? Yes, it is. Um, we're looking at more damage adding in Archmages now nearly at four and a half as an archer could end up getting taken down. Where is that archer going to go? Is it going to go anywhere? No, it is not as the Archmage is already at four and a half footmen getting ready to engage here and will be able to take down a couple of those archers as they're trying to do a run on by again. Meanwhile, down to the south here, more harassment coming across. All right, apparently harassment is the name of the game. Goblin Tinker getting taken down. Archmage is now at four and three quarters, about to get to level a level five here. Couple of footmen, couple more damage. Are we going to get some repairs onto that Goblin Shredder trying to get some repairs? And the, well, the peasant could have done it earlier, but well, was a little bit late there. Archmage finally gets up to level 5. We are 9 minutes into this game. A level 5 Archmage already out of the gate. We are finally getting attacked to tier 2, but the Trents are now joining in on the battle, and they're going to be putting pressure inside the main base as well. All right. Um, well, there's a deny once more. Keeper of the Grove trying to back away. Archmage sitting at level 5. Level 3 Water Elementals could cause some problems. Keeper of the Grove causing some problems of his own as he finishes off two Peasants as the Trents are now well able to disrupt all of the mining in Death Note's main. More Peasants will need to be trained back up and then transfer back over to the main. Footman trying to run back over to the Keeper of the Grove, unable to catch up there.
Repairing peasant blocked the goblin shredder. Yeah. All right. Keeper of the grove. Once more, Archmage. Why did it even dr bother dropping the water ele elemental? If it just had two shots against the keeper of the grove, it could have been enough to try and take it down. More repairs underway. Water elemental should be engaging against a dryad. Goblin tinker right now here back for some more action as we see it leveled. Well, more and more abolished magic coming in from the Dryads. The tech advantage of Sonic with those Dryads shutting down the Archmage as there aren't any Riflemen on the battlefield to punish the transition in the Dryads yet. No Lumber Mill either. Not even a Blacksmith anywhere. And with no Blacksmith, um, just having to fight on Footmen alone, that may not be enough. Archmage coming back across here. Draw, uh, well, get some damage onto a building before it gets up and running. There's a quick detonation. Dryad, well, gonna get some abolished magic going. Nope, no, there's one abolished magic, but not gonna be enough as well. An army of dryads will be able to finish that off. And without much piercing damage, well, we are gonna see one dryad getting taken out. Meanwhile, Footman swarming, taking down Ancient of Lore. What is going on here? This is just. I don't, I don't remember um, well, Warcraft 3 having this many base battles in a Night Elf versus Human matchup. Potential surround onto the Keeper of the Grove, forcing a scroll, no, forcing a Staff of Teleportation. That is going to be a lot of damage to be had as the Keeper of the Grove retreats back and runs inside and says, wait a second, why are all of my moon wells dry? All right, miscalculation by Sonic. It is now nighttime, and these moon walls are going to slowly get filled back up. Archmage is singing at level 5, but it, this is quite the issue that the Keeper of the Grove was actually able escape when all of the moon wells were dry only 200 hit points and now we're going to see the second production building of sonic perhaps get taken out all right water elementals well gonna get abolished magic here footman gonna go straight after these wisp archmage is standing across over here gonna use cloak of shadows himself and then be able there is a reveal potion of lesser invulnerability could try and break free and yes now we see some reflecting damage back as again ancient of lore down to 300 hit points Wisp are going to get taken down. Archmage wants to try and fight once more. Is going to be able to back away. And it is now trying to run away. Cloak of Shadows. Dryads are all in position. Dryads, we were trying to get some slow poison damage. Archmage, however, with a head start, able to back away. Meanwhile, on the bottom left-hand side of the map, well, same thing still going on. Keeper in the Grove now sitting at level 5. Mountain King now out onto the battlefield. Mountain King, Stormbolt perhaps onto the Keeper of the Grove. And yes, it is within range of that Arcane Tower, pretty much maximizing and making sure that no more mana is added in. Arcane Tower going to finish off the remaining of those trends here. Meanwhile, Footmen have finished off the last production building of Sonic, and Sonic cannot train anything but archers. All right, tech advantage. Goblin Tinker had, well, there was a surround, but now more damage. And while well, the Goblin Tinker actually partially surrounds himself with a pocket factory. The pocket factory now blocking one of his avenues for escape as we have a level 6 Archmage at the 13-minute mark of this game. Mountain King now in trouble. Army of Dryads here ready to, well, punish that Mountain King. As I said, there was no Blacksmith, no Rifleman, no Mortar Teams. Mountain King trying to run off to the races, unable to do exactly that. And this is just absolutely problems. Mountain King going to get taken down, going to give a little bit more experience to that Mountain King off on, or on the or Keeper of the Grove off on the other side here. St uh, well, Staff of Teleportation to try and get away. Meanwhile, back off to the north, there's that Keeper of the Grove. More Trent's going to be joining in. Footman need to know not even throw up defend doesn't even really matter keeper of the grove seems to be quite fine army of units here archmage still has a bunch of mana there is no arcane vault no there is an arcane vault and now we are training up double barracks production because there are no bear uh, no blacksmiths for riflemen i i don't know what is going on here this is just an unorthodox game every way every way around here a moon well about to get taken down archmage still has a way to get out of here as the keeper of the grove gets up to level six all right keeper of the grove gets up to level six we have two level six heroes 14 minutes into this game footman with the fen trying to reflect damage back to these dryads and that's actually working out fairly well as dryad after dryad is starting to fall too all right, as those Dryads fall, it's going to actually give the Archmage more opportunities to use um, those um, to use water elementals as well there goes another a couple more attacks again. Are we going to see a, a surround onto a Dryad? Yes, Dryad 
Um, well, Dryad getting surrounded by five or six units there. Goblin Tinker now joining in on the battle here as we're looking at, well, the guard towers trying to get added in. All right, footmen are here. Keeper of the Grove summoning up more trends. As this battle rages on, it's a little bit more difficult as the trees are getting destroyed as they are coming to life and to join in on the battle here. Goblin Tinker down to 300 uh, hit points and dropping rather ra ra rather steadily as the Mountain King about to join in on the battle again. More scout towers trying to get added back in. There goes the Goblin Tinker Archmage. Drops a Water Elemental. Mountain King shows up to the party. Dryads are trying to retreat back here. No easy way to finish off all of these units. It is a sea, an absolute sea, as we see a Storm Bolt go down on the Keeper of the Grove. Keeper of the Grove going to go ahead and use Staff of Teleportation to head back on out. No Bash to follow up there, as the Dryads may end up getting taken out. Archmage purposely backing away. Nope. Uh, yeah, I'm not quite sure why he would ba back away at this stage. He wants to get level 3 Brilliance Aura as the Mountain King looking to get a little bit more experience. Still a lot of trends all over here. Archmage well, in a little bit of trouble. A couple of low hit point footmen drops in another Water Elemental. There's some more Abolish Magic as well as the Keeper of the Grove is at level 6. Going to show up to the party. There's the Untangle and there's a Scroll of Town Portal to, great, to quickly shake off that damage. Alright, more trends joining in on the battle here. We, do, we are looking at Arcane Sanctum and a Blacksmith Finally getting added in Clarity Potion and Scroll of Regeneration used by multiple Don't units. Done. Footmen getting ready to join on in as well. We're looking at a couple of Ivory Towers being brought back over. And this two, a two base versus one base, one base battle. Absolutely, absolutely bonkers. Water Elementals joining back in. We are looking at additional production buildings. Ancient of Lures trying to be rebuilt once again as Sonic does have an expansion. And I accidentally zoomed in. All right, Storm Keeper of the Grove. Um, um, yes, Keeper of the Grove, I believe, was now being forced to retreat all the way back here. Mountain King not going to be able to land down a Storm Bolt here as this Sea of Trent's just going to get taken out. And what is this? There was no Tranquility. Sonic recognizing that Tranquility is only useful when you have an army. And with only 26 supply, opted to go for level 3 Entangle and level 3... Um, Trents as well. So that's the reason why there just seems to be trees for days. All right. It looks like this guy going to get taken out as well. Mountain King still sitting at level one. Never seen any tier one army used so well. Yeah, massive tier one army. And now that we are looking at, well, Death Note finally transitioning into Rifleman. Um, and Rifleman and Priest, I cannot think that Sonic is going to be able to hold this attack back off. Priest is here, a little bit more healing. Footman with Defend. Rifleman going to be able to burst down those Dryads. Mountain King getting up to level 2. Level 7 now on that. Uh, level 7 now on that Keeper of the Grove. Unit's going to try and retreat back. Level 7 now on the Archmage. More damage added in. Perhaps a Storm Bolt. Yes, there's a Storm Bolt there. Trents are going to get taken out. Keeper of the Grove, well, trying to stick around, but it cannot really stick around in this fight for very long as more experience getting added by those Mountain Kings. Or, or by the Mountain King and the Archmage. All right, Priest going to be in a little bit of trouble. Storm Bolt. Oh, goes down onto the Keeper of the Grove. One final attack. Um... Well, not able to be interrupted. There goes an Entangle once more. Mountain King does not have enough mana. Level 3 Brilliantora doesn't give as much mana as Obsidian Statues. Mountain King with Clarity Potion coming back the other side. Trent's just causing more problems again. More peasants trying to get trained up. We are only at keep a second Arcane Sanctum getting added in as we are getting Adept training as well. No upgrades on the Rifleman. Wisp going to get easily taken out here as Death Note should have everything in store and ready. We are looking at a Tree of Ages, not even Tree of Eternity. We are looking at dual Ancients of Lore and a single Ancient of War off over here. 47 supply compared to 35. Death Note, actually the one sitting on the smaller army, but he does have... What? Goblin almost taking down the altar of kings almost could have taken down some more critical buildings as well the towers were able to um, well stop that in its tracks a mountain king needs to get in a lot of experience trying to get up to level three and that's gonna really change things up as well 45 supply compared to 48 finally offering well uh, training up multiple units and that is all queued up he's going to be getting into low upkeep in a hurry 
and now he really needs to build up more farms behind this and perhaps get in repair that altar as well farms are going to become a problem here in just in a li in a little bit as there is not enough supply here he has all of these units being trained here and they're going to end up starting to become supply block as trends are not trying to make their way in all right priest add up training not going to have enough mana to really dispel magic doesn't really matter though mountain king continuing the fight archmaid should um, be able to use mass teleport here in a hurry perhaps try and head back out what is going to go down in this battle there goes the engagement and now there's some damage footman with the fen mountain king's staff of oh, well, mass teleport no entangle from that keeper of the grove as they were able to make their way back out again all right repairs need to get underway the arcane vault was taken out as we can see well 53 over 54 supply currently supply block has plenty of gold and needs to build in more farms and we're looking at arcane sanctums and many production buildings just not in operation death note and not on top of his macro at this stage and who can blame him his micro um while fighting with so much tier one for the first 15 minutes of the game getting into a level six archmage and well level six archmage level two mountain king trying to finish off perhaps take down this expansion before it gets up and operational again all right the incomes a lot of trench we could be looking at some repairs goblin tinker gonna go ahead and put down a pocket factory right there massive repairs are underway trying to finish off some of those units and while the repairs is it going to be enough there's tranquility to heal up all of those units and this is not going to hold out here as the guard tower is now starting to focus down some of the dryads instead all right it is turning into a base trade scenario expansion versus expansion mountain king says you know what i can back on out of here let me go after here as the goblin tinker is now in a bit of trouble staff of preservation saves that however as we're looking at well more trends getting taken down all right pocket factory uh well maybe going into mason for better armor we're looking at 57 supply now as more riflemen getting trained up and now death note if it's worth doing worth overdoing now getting up to what is that going to be 78 supply um, even though he only has a 58 supply army here. All right, balance is the key. Building farms as you need them, when you need them. Um, it looks as though Death Note getting caught up in all of the action, wanting, oh, Stormbolt onto a Druid of the Claw, Staff of Preservation there, making sure that Druid of the Claw was still only in Druid form, quickly, quickly would have been finished off. All right, yes, Mount, the Mountain King is start planning to start an Apothecary in a little bit of time. Clarity Potion, Replenishment Potion, Potion of Healing, and a Potion of Lesser Invulnerability. All of those um, uh, right there available. Druid of the Claw, are we going to see a Staff of Preservation save that one? No, we are not, as the Mountain King going to be looking for, well, some easy, easy ripe pickings again. All right, picking, finishing off that one, well, Pocket Factory again, trying to separate everything. There's a couple of quick disenchants finishing off or yeah dispels onto the onto the bear as we're looking at the mountain king are we going to see a bash yeah a bash followed above by an attack they're going to finish things off stormbolt onto the bears going to greatly slow them down allow them to get uh, poked down as well there's a druid of the claw that was still in druid form could have taken a lot more damage as it now well transitions back a quick rejuvenation onto that druid of the claw now going to make it difficult to finish off as the units are trying to retreat back again bears are a great great counter unit to the riflemen but mass teleport taking them out of that sticky scenario. All right. Now, this may end up becoming a scenario. Well, Amazonia, there, the expansions on Amazonia actually have a, a crazy, crazy amount of gold. We still have 16,000 gold and 12,000 gold on the gold mines here on Amazonia. So there is still plenty of action to be had. Mountain King going to be getting up to level 4 off of this creep camp. I'm, and yes, he wants to get another potion of some sort here, most likely. Rifleman, while taking quite a... Or dealing a little bit of damage back. Robe of Magi plus 6. It, that is perhaps one of the best items you can get on the Mountain King now. Better mana regeneration as well as we're going to go into mass teleport. Oh, Entangle right there. Keeper of the Grove getting the Entangle off. Instead, Scroll of Town Portal being used as a follow-up as the Rifleman all back away. All right, coming back around Arcane Vault, Archmage may need to pick up a new scroll of Town Portal. All of those units getting back together. Mountain King may actually want to consider retraining the Thunderclap 
now that he knows his opponent is going for bears. Those bears do clump up together. Thunderclap to really mitigate how much damage they do to slow them down. And then the follow up of well, two Thunderclaps followed by Rifleman Focus Fire is often enough to finish things off. 49 supply army compared to 56. Archmage sitting at level 7. Um, well, plenty of gold to be mined here. Swirl of Town Portal now picked up. And well, another Trent right there just getting smacked in the face and taken out. Tree of Eternity. What? Why would Why would you move your Tree of Eternity when you have Staff of Preservation to try and heal? This game is still going strong here, and well, bringing the Tree of Eternity to the fight here. I guess there was only well a couple of gold mines left. Rock Granite Golem is going to get taken out, and well, is that going to be enough? Are we perhaps going to be seeing a little bit of slow here? Um, well, Rifleman wanting to focus down the Granite Golem. Granite Golem down to 600 hit points. More damage added in. Mountain King, is it going to be able to pick up a very big item? How close is that going to be to finish off the Granite Golem? Oh, 34 hit points. Teleports back as the units are now making their way. Granite Golem was about to get taken out. Picking up that item and that experience would have been key as well as the Keeper of the Grove and the Goblin Tinker seeing that level 7, level 4. Coming back around, Archmage not quite sure how to make its way back over here. Wow, 6... <laughs> So incredibly close. Rifleman, one more point of damage. Wood Altar of Kings about to get taken out here. Wisp now going to be making their way over Tree of Eternity, taking a large amount of damage. Mountain King, well, just say, you know what? I can finish this off pretty quickly. Wisp are now going to be coming back over, and there's going to be some mass detonations along the backside. Tree of Eternity now going to get finished off here, being brought to its knees in a matter of seconds as the militia are back here as well. Staff of Preservation will bring the Druids of the Claw back to the expansion location as there is tranquility now. No Stormbolt onto the Keeper of the Grove as all of these units are going to heal back once more. And this is the problem. The Sonic may be able to win this because of mass healing at this point and stage in the game. Don't know how effective it was to really bring that um, bring that Tree of Eternity right there, but it was rather cute. All right, Staff of Preservation on that bear. Nope, not going to be in time. It was still on cooldown as the Tinker is well, now trying to get down onto that Mountain King. Mountain King absorbing quite a bit of damage. Another Druid of the Claw, however, getting stabbed this time as we're looking at the Mountain King trying to break free. All right, Potion of Repunishment used in conjunction with the Potion of Invulnerability. A great one-two punch. Mountain King could have finished off that Druid of the Claw there, but Mountain King wanted to back away to get more mana. Could also use a Clarity Potion as well. There's a little bash onto the Goblin Tinker. Mountain King takes its damage, though, no longer having that replenishment advantage 64 supply compared to 49 mountain king still having plenty of gas in the tank wanting to get a storm bolt for preservation however should be off of cooldown here as the dryads are going to abolish magic down that water elemental mountain king just shy of level five storm bolt is going to be able to finish it off staff of preservation saves it as the keeper of the grove is well getting bashed himself all right level eight now onto the archmage are we going to get blizzard as the next ability why the heck not storm bolt goes down as the Keeper of the Grove could have a little bit of a bad day. There's a bash! And the Keeper of the Grove scrolls of Town Portal at 49 hit points. One bear left behind. Uh, or is that gonna, one bear going to give level 5 to that Mountain King? Or is a tower going to get the final shot? That is the question right there. Stormbolt gets level 5 onto the Mountain King. Clarity Potion should now be used. And that level 5 Mountain King with level 3 Stormbolt really going to be brought to action now. All right, Flying Sheep, Tranquility, Sonic sitting on a 49 supply army compared to Odin's 50. Mountain King making its way back over. Going to finish off this Granite Golem here. And remember, if that Mountain King had finished off that Granite Golem earlier, it would have had level 3 Stormbolt that much earlier. And that, would, that could have been the difference in the game. That little bit of extra damage. 100 point of extra damage. I, I believe the Goblin Tinker and the Keeper of the Grove had both escaped at, well, in the red. So yes, that Stormbolt difference, that Stormbolt upgrade could have been everything. Endurance Aura now on that Mountain King. Faster movement speed. Um, well, the human army is often the slow, clunky army. Unable to get their Paladin added now as the third hero for burst healing. 
and Death Note should be able to, well, unless it's a horrible, horrible creep jack, and it could be that exactly that as we're looking at the engagement coming in. Dryads are right off over here. Archmage going to try and put and transition pressure back over here. Mountain King now going to make its way back over. Are we going to see some damage? Yes, start damage onto a Druid of the Claw Staff of Preservation. Quickly brought over. Trench should end up getting taken down. There's some dispel magic, but the Rock Golems are still mad going after the human army of Death Note. Yuna is trying to turn back around. Water Elemental getting dispelled down into nothing quickly getting abolished and cancelled in this cancel culture age. Mountain King now continuing to push forward again. Paladin trying to, well, remove everything again. As the, excuse me, as the knights with inner fire, well, getting abolished magic right there. All right. Are we going to look at a dispel magic right there? Knight could be in trouble. No staff of sanctuary that I can see. Mass teleport trying to get away. And the knight does get taken out. And the paladin is left behind. Paladin left behind mass teleport or perhaps not un too many units trying to be teleported at one time and oh 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 mass teleport oh uh, what a difference there it only was a level one hero though it will resurrect quickly the question is well spending gold like that just not very um, good at all goblin tinker now sitting at level five it, is it gonna get to level six is it gonna go to robo goblin as we're now hearing the mortar teams j joining in on the fight as well mortar combat is well incredibly important mortar teams with one zero upgrades if they're able to freely lob and attack that could be enough here as we're going to be looking at the dryads while trying to make their way through oh dryads accidentally will engage off on the wrong side storm storm bolts to start off the battle due to the claw going to be absorbing damage mortar teams if they can get in that damage across all of those drives along the back side that damage does add in very very quickly are we going to see a storm bolt yes onto the keeper of the grove keeper of the grove has no way out sonic could end up getting taken down there's tranquility and that may be the end of the game right there devotion or adding an additional damage or armor across all of the human army right there holy light trying to save and well sonic's army is starting to drop like flies stormbolt onto the goblin tinker goblin tinker down to 151 hit points mountain king unable to catch up because of the slow poison but while well, leaving our the entire rest of the army behind and not that great either 49 supply compared to 44 mortar teams finally getting targeted here mountain king unable to stormbolt anything holy light trying to save some of those mortar teams but they're getting taken out pretty quickly too you another mortar team joins in on the battle as the well mortar teams are just trying to get holy lighted and trying to be saved one rifleman shooting the units as they're passing by as a level three paladin now be able to heal up all of those mortar teams even better all right mortar teams have to work on their aim accidentally hitting some of their own units right there there goes another dry ad as well robo goblin now available and well an added benefit of robo goblin is that he can be repaired pocket factory thrown down here archmage gonna try and fight back the other side mortar teams gonna perhaps get in a little bit of engagement there's a holy light as well as the tree of life is about to fall robo goblin now gonna be well brought on over big damage indeed is gonna be able to make its way over here dryads are here now that guy is immune to storm bolt since he is a mechanical unit one of the added benefits mountain king now seeing that level six are we gonna see avatar yes we are and now avatar mass teleport uh tranquility and um robo goblin all in the same game dryads are now trying to make their way through art well riflemen really need to be focusing down these dryads as they prance their way inside here are we going to see another holy light no invisibility under the mortar team to try and keep them alive and that seems to be working out well there goes a splat another dryad getting taken down as the goblin tinker now trying to retreat away 22 supply compared to 52 this game has gone back and forth an absolutely entertaining match but the writing is on the wall. Sonic will be giving the GG here in just a moment, especially as there is no more mining left. Economic advantage, army size advantage, hero level advantage, ec economic advantage. Well, I said economic advantage, right? Yep. Yep. All the full trifecta of everything here. Mortar teams able to get in some easy damage onto those dryads as well. Four level six, um, four ultimate abilities coming across here. Mountain King Stormbolt onto the Keeper of the Grove. Keeper of the Grove now down to 340 hit points. Is it going to try and break free once again? Yes, we'll be able to break free once more. Robo Goblin going after the Mortar teams pretty consistently. Mountain King is going to be able to finish off that Keeper of the Grove finally be able to finish it off a second time there it goes level nine on the archmage 
as the level 9 Archmage does have access to Blizzard, but really, what is the point at this point, at this stage in the game, as the Robo Goblin, well, um, is slowed, um, but that's pretty much it. All right, last, last, last remnants of the Goblin Tinker, last hero, more experience going across the board, and there is the GG. Um, a great battle between these two, Sonic and Death Note. Death Note hanging on for dear life for what seemed like forever and a day. That little bit of economic advantage early on making a very big difference indeed. Ultimately, we saw four level six heroes and a late game paladin was also able to get to level four as well. It really came down to the Dryads when Dryads trying to just dive on in after the mortar teams. And the mortar teams would have been easily cleaned up if it were not for that Paladin and that Burst Heal. That little bit of extra time to try and focus down and get to the mortar teams allowed the riflemen to pick off the Dryads as they were running on through. And well, once the Paladin got to level three, that 400 hit point burst heal was just so difficult and so much for Sonic to overcome. Even with Tranquility um, healing up as well, and even with bears, it was not enough. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it.